Celine Johnson here, the author of New York Times bestselling book, Push. I'm also the creator of infomercial programs and the founder of the Smart Success Academy. Today, I want to share with you my top tips for overcoming social media overwhelm and overload. We've all been there. I think everyone has basically come to grips with the fact that we all need to be on and in social media, whether it's to make a difference in the world or to build our business. I mean, your grandma has a Twitter account. We get it. The problem is because most of us are so driven by our own success and our, our need to do more that we keep looking at all these other new platforms in social media and feeling like we're just not doing enough or thinking that the reason why our business hasn't exploded is because we haven't gone deep enough in some new form of social media. The overwhelm ha happens because there are so many new platforms and so many ways to reach our customers and we have to remember that we don't have to use all of them. As a matter of fact, you don't have to use any of them, but I strongly encourage you to. So my number one tip is to pick two. Pick two and go deep, commit. Now here's what I mean by go deep and I need to be very specific about this. Some people think go deep means spend all your time there. Go deep means get a deep, deep understanding of the best practices of the forms of social media that you love. I mean, dude, if you love MySpace, you could still be crushing it right now on MySpace because ain't nobody else going to compete with you. Everybody else has moved on to Facebook or Instagram. But the bottom line is, how many customers do you need? There's millions and millions and millions of people on any social media platform that you can think of, whether it's Vimeo or YouTube or Twitter or Vine or Instagram or Facebook. You don't have to be on all of them. You can just be on one or two, and I do recommend two because we know too many people and the business clients that I coach who've had these stories where they've put all their eggs in one basket and lost their account had their accounts hacked or some other nightmare. So I do strongly encourage you to go deep on two platforms and pick the platforms that you have a natural propensity for personally. Like I love, love Instagram. And that's naturally a good fit for me. I and, and I think that everyone should look at two things. Number one, which one do you like to use the most? And number two is where are your customers? Because you want to fish where the fish are. Pick two, go deep. And you know what deep means? Have a deep understanding. And then remember this. Every time that social media platform changes their algorithm, they just tweak things slightly, your practices will need to change and update. So make sure that you have an expert in each of those areas. That's kind of your go-to that you know you can check in once a month, at least, at least once a quarter to find out what changes have been made and how it impacts the way you use that form of social media. My next tip is you must schedule your time. You gotta be, you gotta be a grown up about this. And when we were in school, you remember we had a very structured day and that's why we were able to learn so much and master so much information and, and be able to graduate with exceptional grades for some of you. We need to schedule our time as entrepreneurs or future entrepreneurs, whatever your pursuit is in social media, it must be scheduled just like a date, a conference call or anything else of importance. Otherwise, as you and I both know, it's too easy to get sucked in and spend hours ignoring your family, looking at your phone, right? And you're like, I'm working over here. Sure you are. So schedule your time and let your family and friends know when that time is because they'll help keep you accountable and that will make you more efficient with your time because most of the reason why people feel overwhelmed is because they're spending so much time and they're not seeing results. Like if you were seeing massive results, you wouldn't feel overwhelmed. You would feel excited. I want you to spend your time wisely. My time scheduled on social media, I'll just share my own best practices, is at 7 a.m., at 4 p.m., and at 8 p.m. that specific standard time it just it's what works for me from my schedule standpoint with my family and it also is what works with me with my followers clearly know your purpose and remind yourself every minute that you're spending in social media needs to follow up on your purpose in other words why are you there why are you spending time in social media is it to connect with friends and family who you really should be putting a personal phone call in or sending them a text or sending them a letter. Well, in that case, remember that your time should be spent building your business, attracting new customers, serving the customers you already have, and really ultimately building the type of relationship that encourages people to go over to your website and see what you're all about. So each time you step foot on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, just ask yourself, 
Am I attracting new customers? Am I interacting with existing customers? Am I building relationships? Social media is nearly 100% of how I reach new customers. Some word of mouth too, but even the word of mouth happens from people who are talking in social media. So it's very important that I concentrate my efforts not on updating friends and family, but in serving my customers. Just keep reminding yourself of that and I promise that you will spend less time in social media because your time will be better spent. Quality over quantity, period, end of subject. It used to be, and things have changed, that the more you just put out there in social media, the more likely you were to be seen and be heard. But now we realize that there are so many opportunities for people to grab our attention that they really have to earn it, and then they have to be able to sustain that relationship by keeping our trust and giving us great content. I mean, think about all the people who you are either hiding in your newsfeed or you have unfollowed because they were just putting so much out there. You're like, another post? Ugh. And it just didn't have value. You could just almost sense that they were posting just to post. That's not the case anymore. Now people are very particular about how they spend their time. You're costing people money if you're posting all the time and it's not of value. So while it is important to have um, a presence and to have that on a pretty regular schedule, it's more important that your quality is what you focus on and not the quantity. Next, apply the 80-20 rule. And this is for your sanity. Remember, I started this by suggesting I'm gonna give you my best tips to avoid overwhelm. And the best way to do that is to give yourself some slack. I attempt to post every day at 7 a.m at 4 p.m. and at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But there are days where I don't hit any of those because life gets in the way and my life is more important, meaning my family and what I do with my children and my friends. All those things are far more important than business. So if I can't post that day, that's okay. 80% of the time I'm able to. 20% of the time I just cut myself some slack and I say I don't feel like it today or I would rather um, just go chill with the kids on the couch, whatever it is, you have to cut yourself that slack or you will feel overwhelmed. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is 100%, 100% of the time. And well, actually there probably are some of those people, but they're so annoying to be around because they can't let loose and they can't enjoy life. So remember to cut yourself some slack. In fact, if you wanna take a couple of weeks off, go for it. Your business isn't gonna go anywhere. As long as 80% of the time you're going deep on those just few social media platforms that you've decided are most important to you and you really understand them and you update yourself every time there's a change and you're connecting with your customers and sending them back to your website where you have their email address and you can send them videos like this on your schedule. I hope that's helpful. I hope to see you soon at one of my seminars and please be sure to share this video if it was helpful to you and you know it will help a fellow entrepreneur.